What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Core Spotlight video. Today we have Chateau de Bravazu. I, I really don't know how to pronounce this. Chateau de Province Sud, maybe Sud, Pro Provencia Sud. I don't know, but this is what we have today. This is what we're playing today. Another course I've heard a lot about, but haven't had a chance to play it. So we're gonna do it today. As all the other Core Spotlight videos, we're doing default conditions, round three pins, and we're playing from the back tees. Let's head out into the course, take a look at it, and get our round in. All right, here we go with the view of the course. This course actually looks extremely gorgeous. Some water in play and a few holes, it looks like. Got some lakes, a creek looks like maybe too. That was pretty deep. Oh, nice little town back there with the castle. Nice like flower field as well. Take a look at the clubhouse. Oh yeah, oh yeah, looks like this course uses almost all of this plot too, it goes pretty deep. Another few houses over here, that kind of looks like it's it, I think we're at the edge of the plot here on this side, yeah, because we're back to hole one. Alright, I mean this course looks, this looks extremely, extremely nice. We start with a par five too. We're gonna do a little touch of a fade here. Hopefully we can hit a good a good shot. Oh, we extremely fast it. So we're picking up right where we left off <laughs> on the last course. All right. I did do a calibration too. Maybe it's just the uh, kind of the first shot Jitters, we probably could have made it too, easily. So we almost made it there out of the rough. So that's a little unfortunate that we hit a bad shot there. Looks like a little wild greens. I wanted to be putting uphill and I wanted to get a little, a little further up, but. That's okay. We're gonna take this 14. Let's see if we can start this off with a birdie. Hopefully my putter is not bad like it was yesterday. Hmm. Right pace, just a little off on the read. So we start her off with a par. I think we probably could have easily done a little bit better there, but that's okay. Ooh, I really like this hole. Look at the detail in this, like some brick coming through, the water coming in. Man, just yeah, look, look, this is, Great attention to detail here. This is a really nice hole. Okay. Play, I don't put this in the water. Very fast. It's gonna go pretty long, probably. We're gonna be more than likely chipping here. Not too bad, though. Get in there. Ah, oh, just died out some. All right, we take home another par. As long as we can save pars, that's good. As long as we don't have any blow up holes, because I've had a few of them lately. Is it even worth to take driver here? Oh yeah, very, very much so. Yeah, just the contouring of the fairways and everything, like your landing zones, it's pretty good. This is really good. Oh, off cart path. This is gonna be tough.
Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course we hit the, the tiny, we hit like the very, very edge of the tree. Oh, come on. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right, dude. That is not right. God dang it. All right, can we save, can we save par here? Let's see. Break. Nice. All right. Those are the type of putts we're looking for right there. But preferably, preferably for birdies. Yeah, birdie sounds good. Man. We are red fast and something fierce. I did put the big boy back on the 296. Trying that out for now. All right, we're going to get a pretty big catapult here. Down the slope. Off it up a little bit, not much. Kind of work this. Back down to the hole here. Hmm. Cannot save myself from swinging too fast, I guess. Not ideal. That is, though. Easy. Easy. All right, chipping birdies, we'll take them. We'll take them. Get a touch of a draw here. Maybe try to slow it down a touch. There we go. Exactly what we were looking for. Uh, took a little bit of a bounce there, bummer. That's kind of a, that's a pretty tough landing zone right there. I got to get this up. We can't get it to, we can't, I have to, I have to, I have to get it up onto the green. There's a little protection here at the front, so. Go. That should be perfect. Oh yeah. All right, we get ourselves another chance at a birdie here. Come on. Get in there. All right. Hey, look at that. Two birdies in a row. You don't see that too often out of me anymore. <laughs> Par five, wind is of course directly into our face. Huh. This is another really, really good hole. Like working out, I didn't even pay attention to this tree right in the middle of the fairway. Like working out, like bringing the water in, you know. Nice little bridge across. You have like this inset of water in here. So far I've, uh, I'm thoroughly impressed by this. Just the attention to detail, that's, that's, that's like the main thing here. This should come back some to the left. Should hit the slope a little bit. Work its way back. We have a chance at an eagle here. Let's see if we can uh, bang it home. Oof. All 
Alright. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to be enough over to the right, but we're going to find out. I don't think it is because it's it really slopes out a little a lot more over here to the right. Watch, we're gonna miss this right now, probably. Oh, baby! Let's go! Huge eagles! Here we are. Oh my. Hey, he's feeling it. Whew. Here we are. Here we are. Don't get up the hill too much. It's gonna be a tough butt. It's gonna be a tough butt. No, oh, I want to bring it back even more. I want to play this extremely safe because we have a good chance of uh, throwing this off the front side of the green. Oh, and I hit it too hard. Settle. All right. At least we can save ourselves that par. Whew, I was a little worried. I mean, maybe if we, we hit that the right uh, like distance, it might be okay, but... Ooh, okay. A little tight landing zone here. Of course, I read fast it. We're going to get in this bunker and have a very, very, very... That looks like a dick and balls. Um, a, ve <laughs> a very hard shot here. Lots of green to work with, though, so it does give you an opportunity to recover. So that's good. Oh, we read fast again, though. Gosh darn it. All right, we need a good pitch. We need a good pitch here. That'll do. We can at least, uh, we can at least save our par. <gasps> I pulled it. I pulled it. That hurts so much. That hurts my soul. Everything about that putt right there. Just slowly taking years off my life. Oh, we had a wind at her back. We could probably go for this. I have been pulling everything. It's really strange. I don't know why. I don't know why at all. All right, I'm just going to normal shot this. I can work with this. Make sure we're pulling this back straight, I guess. Pain. Pain. Absolute pain. 
Gosh darn it. <sighs> bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. All right, still three under, still going all right. We get greedy? Of course we get greedy. What am I even saying? Get greedy, straight into a red fast. Bounce right over. Darn it. <laughs> I thought maybe. We can play this out of the bunker though. Ooh, maybe. This is gonna be tough. Do I have anything in the green to work with? Eh, a little bit. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no, no. That was bad. That was very bad. Gotta really slow it down. That new calibration made it even slower, I guess. All right, at least the putter's kind of working, except for that one bad putt. All right, we got a couple more par fives to maybe potentially get some eagles here on the back. That'd be great. This is a real tight landing zone if I want to go for this, which we're going to, of course. This time I slowed it down too much. Hopefully this is an OB over here. Do we try it? Does it get through here? That's the question. I don't know if it does. Oh, it does. Oh, <laughs> almost, got, almost got there. Oh, we almost got there. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Oh, red fasted it. Man, we are actually red fasting a lot this round. But putter can save us. Let's go. Three to eight, 48, here we are. Drano max, birdie time. 40 foot birdie coming in hot. Oh, close. A little bit more mustard, that probably would've been good. Just a touch more. More extremely tight landing zones. I like this a lot. We're gonna get greedy. We're gonna get very greedy. Let's see where this takes us. Real flat bounce there, but that's okay. We're nice and close now. Beauty, absolute beauty. Here we are. Don't pull it, Zane. Oh, that thing didn't break at all. That thing just stayed straight the whole time. <laughs> oh, God. I even said don't pull it and uh, it didn't matter at all. Okay. Okay. Well, ouchies. Mm. 
No way this doesn't come back down this hill. I played for it. Look how much I pulled that. Man, I don't know what's going on with my putting stroke. That's that's so weird. I don't know if I'm holding it firm enough or what's happening. But boy, that has really sucked. Needed a perfect, got a perfect. This should bounce into the fairway. Perfect. All right. We need a good shot here and then an eagle. Oh, man. Another nice hole. Look at this setup. You got your backside bunker here. Nice little rock arrangement there. Another rock arrangement here in the front. Oh, yeah. Big fan. It's up three. We're slight downhill. Should be good. Beautiful. It's a tough little hole to come into. You really have to be on top of your game. Okay. Well, I mean, a tough hole to come into for Eagle, I should say, too. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. All right. Another eagle. I pulled it, of course. I don't think that goes either way, even if I didn't pull it. It's really weird. Putting stroke is off. We get a birdie still though, so I'm happy with that. Sure. Huge landing zone. The biggest of landing zones. I think once I get used to this, uh, I'm still gonna find the rough. Oh, okay, we're good. I think once I get used to this uh, new calibration, I think we'll be all right. It's been a little tough, but we're on the right track. Full. Wonderful. A little far right, but still good. Five, eighteen, all right. There we go. There we go. Back on track. Ooh. Another one. I really like these. Uh, I really like this. Uh, these like rock formings here at the front of these those these two these two greens that we've done. The uh, this one and I think it was two holes ago. I really like the look of it. It's a good aesthetic. Hmm, eight down, 156. I'm gonna deloft it a touch just to make sure we get there. Yep, just to make sure we get there. Oh, still another really, another really tough putt. You kinda wanna be left and short of hole, but it's hard to find that landing zone on this. All 
right? Oh, I hit it too hard. Oh, no. That's the last thing you want to do, especially downhill. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, two left. Let's get this to a six under, shall we? This might be safe. Light rough at least. We can work with that. We can work with that. How's the screen look? Should be very good. Get in the hole. Oh my god. I have gotten so close to some of these. Like we've had some really, really close calls with uh like almost makes on some of these hole outs. Alright. One down, one to go. Come on. One down, one to go. Ugh. Huge bounce to the right here. Huge bounce. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, great fast. We're going to have to make a big pot here. If we want to get birdie birdie here to end it. All right. Oh, you can stop rolling now. Jeez, oh, Pete's just kept on going. Here we go. Here we go. 9.31. All right. This is it. Birdie birdie for a six under. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I ain't given enough power. Give me a break. Okay. Chateau de Bravizu. Or however you say it. Not a terrible round. Five under. 35% fairway in regulation, though. Oh, that's so bad. We probably could have done a lot better if it wasn't that bad. That was terrible. We lowered our putts per hole down, but... Again, that should have been even lower. I had some really some some really bad putts. Some didn't break, others I pulled. It it just ugh. there's a lot of putts I should have made there. But that was a really nice course. The the detail of the course, I thoroughly enjoyed of it. You know, the like this picture, the like the inlet of water and like the landing zones mixing in the the creeks. Um the rock formations were really nice. It was it was a very well thought out course. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was very beautiful. Uh, it played really well too. Yeah, this is an absolute winner. Uh, if you haven't played it yet, go give it a play because I promise you will not be disappointed in it. Well, that's all she wrote for today's spotlight. Made it this far and enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like on the video or think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. I will be back with some more spotlights. We still have a lot of courses to go of people who sent me their course or a course that they have played to spotlight on the channel. So I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you on the next one.